Hello, welcome to the channel. Today we are going to look at the estimating for rebar or reinforcing steel. So this is a table for rebar organized by their sizes. However, for the estimating of the bar, what do we need to know is first of all, how many bars we need, uh, the size of the bar, and also the length of the bar. After that, we look into the table and see the density by linear mass. Uh, for example, number five will be 1.043 pounds per foot. And you take that times the length of the bar times the quantity of the bar, and then you will have the weight of each rebar. And after you have done all the bars organized by the sizes, you can add them up, and then you will get the total weight of the rebar in pounds. And from that, you can convert that to tons. In the spreadsheet, we have a list of bars with their sizes. And also on the right side, we have the unit weight. <clears throat> In order to use this table, what we need to do is uh, select the whole table. Then right click, pick a define name. We're going to rename this as rebar weight in one word without any spaces in between. Click OK. Now you have the whole thing defined as a rebar weight table. We're going to look at the example takeoff. Here we have two of the number five bar running continuously for 180 feet. This is for the reinforcing of the footing. So what do we do is uh, we need to find the unit weight in pounds per foot. So that way we can calculate the weight for the rebar. So let's go to the unit weight and we're going to put in a formula. This time we're going to put the lookup function with a bracket. Uh, click on the size of the bar. In this case, so what do we put in with number five? So click on that and then uh, type a comma. Remember, we named our table as rebar weight. So we're going to type that name, rebar weight. I close the bracket, now hit enter, you will get 1.043. So automatically Excel was able to get that information for you from the rebar table. Uh, in our case, actually, it's more like a database. Uh, the final weight calculation is really easy now. Uh, the quantity of the bar times the length times the pound per foot. Now we're getting 376 pounds. What if I change the strength of the bar to number four, for example? Does the formula change? Well, the formula doesn't change. The value changes. Let's try another example. We're also going to put another footing. And this time we're going to say we have a tree of uh, 100 feet. And uh, the bar will be number three. And then what do we do is just uh, copy those formula down. Automatically, the calculation will be done for you. Of course, if you have uh, other types of bar, for example, like a number six or number seven or even number eight bars, what you need to do is expand the data table to include more information. So that way you will have the unit weight for those bigger bars. One more note about our data entry, because apparently that's going to affect our formula. What if some people put down a space between the pound sign and, and also the number? Uh, for example, what if I put a space between number uh, pound and number three? Unfortunately, it's not going to work. Uh, the reason is in our data table, we don't have any spaces between that pound sign and the number. The other thing is, what if I don't even put a pound sign? Apparently, it's not going to work either. We're going to talk about how to deal with that kind of a situation in the next video.
So this concludes our short video on the rebar calculation. If you like, you can make some comments below. Thank you for your time, and uh, we'll see you next time.